Well, some shocking new images show hundreds of immigrants being detained under a bridge near the Texas border. The footage comes just a day after a top Border Patrol union official warned agents have had to release some migrants who've tested positive for COVID into the U.S. Meanwhile, new reporting tonight says that the number of unaccompanied children detained at the border likely hit an all-time high in July. Looking at this picture under that bridge, News Nation correspondent Janelle Fort live for us tonight in Dallas. And Janelle, several lawmakers have been highly critical of the Biden administration's border response. Yeah, Nicole, it's contentious. These lawmakers say that the current administration is mishandling the growing crisis at the border. Uh, they say that they want more done. They say they feel like they're putting immigration policy on the back burner, and that is not okay. They want Vice President Kamala Harris removed from her role overseeing things and someone else put in charge. At the southern border, a new collection of photos depict the growing crisis. The images show upwards of a thousand migrants crowded under a Mission Texas bridge held by U.S. Border Control. The picture snapped at the temporary processing site under the Anzaldúas International Bridge. Outdoor operations forced by the sheer influx of migrants paired with COVID-19 precautions. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle growing frustrated from what they say is a lack of action by the Biden administration. And I've asked the administration very respectfully. Respectfully, what is the end game? What is the end game on this? And I don't know if they know the answer. Congressman Henry Crayar, a Democrat representing Town, Texas, says more than 3,000 people were apprehended yesterday in the Rio Grande Valley. Data shows legal border crossings are at a 21 year high. Last month alone, nearly 200,000 people attempted the dangerous track. Something has to change uh, when it comes to uh, border immigration. Republicans are calling the border crisis a catastrophe. Texas Senator Ted Cruz tweeting that it's a true disaster and a revolving door that migrants are taking advantage of. Colorado rep Ken Buck adding that it's outrageous. Some organizations like the Federation of Immigration Reform are pushing for a crackdown on policies. How can we ask our Border Patrol to go out and do this job if the government isn't supporting the whole process to make sure people aren't encouraged to try to run around the border patrol. But pro-immigration groups are working just as hard. Today, a group of them are restarting litigation to block Title 42, an order that lets U.S. officials send migrants back to Mexico without the chance to seek asylum or other protections. Now, Title 42 is a public health law. It was put into place last year as a COVID-19 precaution. And when asked, the White House said they are unsure when they will revoke it. Nicole. All right, Janelle Fort live for us tonight in Dallas.